Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. I'm Mars and let's get right into the topic of today's video, which is the top 10 beginner mistakes in Genshin Impact and what you need to do to fix them. The first mistake is not using your daily resin. Well, you have 120 resin usually, and if you do not complete boss battles, um, the daily regeneration of resin won't happen. You're wasting all your resin for absolutely no reasons i highly recommend second thing is not cooking cooking is a very useful and valid resource and it's very good for the game and especially since you need it for most of the time um the reason i'm saying this is it's used for healing as well as stamina regeneration um the use of less stamina and stuff like that it's very helpful if you can build up your proficiency so you can have an easy way to cook it auto cooks for you so you don't have to wait until the bar fills up and the third thing that beginners do is wasting stamina if you jump right if you jump it uses a lot of your stamina and if you're trying to climb really high places um you're gonna have to want to save your stamina so if you not jump at all you could probably be fourth thing is using primo gems on a quaint fate why i'm saving that that's is a mistake is because Queen Fates are, you know, are resources that you can get by just playing the, just ranking up your adventure rank, or story mode quests and stuff like that. Um, Queen Fates aren't very rare. However, intertwined fates are difficult to get because they're only available if you use Primo gems, right? Especially since you want to pull on the Venti banner, which uses intertwined fates, and it's a limited time banner what you want to do is usually use your primo gems for intertwined fates uh, however the game does give you 10 intertwined fates if you do log in before the 1.1 update so make sure you do that the fifth thing is using only one character during the entire game and why i'm saying it's a mistake is because as much as it's useful you'll want to use other characters and why i say that is for battles like these um, I can't use my wind powers here to do anything useful. I'm going to use Fischl, which has electro powers. What Fischl does is... That. <laughs> if you use electro on hydro type abilities, it'll have an electro charge effect, which will do more damage. And that's what, that's what you want. And the sixth thing that beginners do as a mistake is not exploring for waypoints. Waypoints are a really great way for you to get around the map and if you do not explore them it'll be really hard to you know get around the map. It's very difficult. The map is very big and you're going to have to run across the entire place and it's just not a good time. Make sure you get those waypoints so you can easily travel from place to place even if you have like tasks for somewhere else. Uh, it's just really easy way to get from place to place. So I highly recommend you do that. The seventh thing is wasting resources on one star or two star even artifacts or even weapons. The reason I'm saying this is because it just ends up being wasted. Four star and three star artifacts are way better than uh, two star or one stars. I recommend using the two stars or one stars just to enhance the three star artifacts or four star artifacts. And if you are very lucky, five star. The eighth mistake that beginners make is not pulling on the beginner's banner. And why that's a mistake is because people might be more inclined to do the Wanderlust Invocation banner. And even though they do have Jean and Diluc, it's it's just not a good banner because of the amount of weapons that are in this banner. For example. Um, you can see here that it's just mostly weapons here for any five star character you need five out of 15 to one in three chance That is not a good chance for getting the five star character. It's just not a good chance So I recommend using the beginners banner as you can see I already pulled on it um, Not only is it good as it, it will guarantee you know well a four star character, but it also um, uses two less acquaint fates which means you say four acquaint fates four i don't know maybe you want to pull on this banner afterwards but you have to pull on the beginner's banner first of course i'm not your parent you can pull on this banner if you want to however i do recommend doing the beginner's banner 
ninth mistake that people usually make is not completing their commissions daily. Why I think that's a mistake is you're missing out on a lot of adventure rank experience, especially since they're very easy, just battle. Um, and you can complete them very quickly so i highly recommend you do that tenth thing is having diverse teams why you should have diverse teams is to initiate combos as well as it's good for passives um, for example if we go to amber here her talents and it her talent is gliding champion and this decreases all party members gliding stamina consumption by 20 percent, which is really good especially in the early game it's just very good it's excellent that's about it thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button down below as well as subscribe see you guys in the next video tomorrow and yeah that's it